Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? Um, welcome back to the Mana Burn. This is Steve, and today we're going to open up a box of Modern Horizons 2 set boosters. Looking for some Ragavan, some Fetchland, some other uh, Elementals as well, Endurance, Solitude, stuff like that. We're going to crack this box open, um, see what kind of goodies we can find. We have, uh, oh, get in there, there we go. We'll be doing a box battle for Modern Horizons 2 set uh, set with two Dominaria collector uh, packs as prizes for a box battle that we have going on in our Facebook group. So please join the group there. Jump in on the battle. Oh, there we go. If it's full already by the time you get in there, don't worry. We'll run another. We can always run another one. Never too shy about running extra uh, battles and things like that. So. Let's get this out of here. Oh, this is all kind of jumbled up, so let's get all these packs out. This was a damaged box. I have a couple of other boxes, but I figure I would do an opening for myself with the damaged box and save the good box for the battles. So without further ado, let's kind of see what we can get. All right. Don't forget guys, like and subscribe. Don't forget to share the videos, uh, share the Facebook group. We're not gonna go through any of these comments here. Uh, we've got a Fey offering, Strike It Rich, not bad. Our first rare is a Resurgent Belief. Avoid Mirror is our next rare. Bone Shredder on common. All right, and eh, nothing. And a Squirrel Token, okay, so nothing really there to chat about. Hopefully the lighting and everything is good as well. I decided to, uh, oh, we've got our signed art card is Lucid Dreams. I moved the uh, the camera, or the, I'm sorry, the light across from me because uh, it just gives me more room to move my hands and stuff around. So, Flay Essence, Inevitable Betrayal is our rare, then an Upheaval. All right, got Vanic Ray, another common, nothing there. Okay. So far, no big hits. Not, not everything has been completely bulk, but nothing great so far. Let's get through these commons. All right, here we go. Supreme Collector. Scuttle Tide. Fortune's Flame. An Extruder. Blossoming Calm. Hell Mongrel. Crab. All right, we need to see an Urza. An Esper Sentinel. Come on, let's get one of these big hitters out of here. Let's go. All right. Road to Ruin. Territorial Kavu. All right. Grist is our first mythic. Again, not a big hitter. Gorilla Shaman. Blacksmith Skill Retro. Moderation is our foil rare. Oh, well, hopefully this is one of those that's got multiple foil rares in it. A lot of these set packs you could definitely do that with, so hopefully that is the case with this one here. All right, Flame Blitz, Flame Tongue Yearling, Throbin Watcher, Diamond Lion, Flame Rift, Floodhound, a Breathless Knight, Foil, and oh, Mem Knight. Okay, it's worth a couple bucks, right? Most Mem Knights are worth a couple of bucks if I'm not mistaken. So that's probably the most expensive card we've pulled so far. I don't know what the price on Grist is, but I don't think it's that high. All right, this is a lot of uncommons in this one. Perfect Titan, Ultra of the Goyf, Lucid Dreams, Said and Done, Fast and Furious, Dragon's Rage Chandler. There we go. There we go. All right, we're going to move these around here. We're going to put the hitters right here in the middle. Esper Sentinel. This was such an expensive, and it's still a good card, but it's still more, much more expensive back in the day. Protector. Bone Shards, a Foul Watcher, and a Foo Token. All right, let's just put these on top. All right, so far, not too bad. We got our Esper Sentinel. If we get an Urza, that would be great. Get a couple of uh, the Elementals as well, like I said earlier. Kaleida Scorch. Prismatic Ending, very good on common. Ooh, Double Tap Esper Sentinel, really? Wow. There we go. Nice. A Vindicate, 
another good rare. Tide Shaper on common with the Crawler common foil. Wow, double hit the Esper Sentinel, really. That's, I don't know that I've ever done that before. We will take it though. We're not going to complain, right, chat? Spreading Insurrection. Oh, there we go. Our first uh, fetch land, Marsh Flats. I mean, probably eight to 10 bucks, but we'll take it. Chef's Kiss. Aquarian Ranger. Chatterstorm. Oh, Timeless Witness. That's a great foil to get in the uncommon slot. Very nice. Probably a couple of bucks. You guys remember when Marsh Flats was like 35, 40 bucks and it was the cheapest fetch land, but it was, uh, you know, still 30, 40 bucks. They'll never touch that again, I don't think. Not unless they just decide to stop reprinting them all together. All right, Abiding Grace. Well, we got another Mythic, Giada. Okay. Hunting Pack. Abundant Harvest. A step through, and nothing from the list. So far, our Mythics have been very lacking. We've got some good common, or some good rares, obviously, two S Sentinels, and we're only through the first row so far, so... The rares are definitely doing it. Radiant, Radiant Epicure. Sweep the Skies. This card. I'm not even going to try. Bone Treader. A Step Through. Ret oh, and a Mind Collapse Retro Foil. And a Murderous Cut. All right. These are nice looking cards. Don't think there's any value in a lot of them, but they are nice looking. I mean, there's a couple, obviously, that'll be worth something in that retro retro frame foil but that is not one of them let's see all right squirrel sanctuary ravenous squirrel nykthos paragon soul snare decent uncommon and nothing nothing okay that's all right we're not even halfway through yet but we're getting there we'll keep on ripping and going Again, if you want to get in on one of these set uh, MH2 set battles, join the uh, Facebook group and jump in. Sudden Edict, decent uncommon. Flay Essence. Flame Blitz. Sanctorend Vec. Not a bad one, but not great. Flame Rift. The Chancellor. And a Chattering Augur. And an Unburial Rites. Okay. From the list. So no big hitters off the list yet. I mean, a couple of, you know, $2 cards or whatever, but no big hitters yet. But we're, we'll see. We can get there. Wow, these just don't want to separate. There we go. We've got a Herd Balath. Magus of the Bridge is our rare. Harmonic Prodigy. Solitary Confinement. Three rare pack. We'll take it. And nothing else. Okay. These these are pretty decent too, as far as uh, value goes, just because they're artifact lands. Now, if that was an artifact land swamp slash... Um, Island, then it would be worth a couple bucks, a few bucks, I would imagine. We have a foil. It looks like I already know what you have back there. All right, Squirrel Sovereign, Scurry Oak, Cauldra Complete. Again, another mid mythic, nothing great. All right, Larry, great card. And now we have a foil Grist. Very mid mythic, but it's foil, so we'll take it. Five mythics and we're halfway through the box. They're all very mid to low. No big hitters in the mythics yet, but we have some big hitters in the rares, so we're not complaining one bit. A flame tongue yearling. Gaia's will. Mog salvage. Oh. Timeless witness again. Good on common. It's always a couple bucks, I believe, or at least it was at one point. All right, let's see. Foil Swamp, love the foil lands. Still Dromedary, however you say that. Foundation Breaker, Liquid Mental Torque, good on common. Tide Shaper, not bad. Nettle Cyst, that's a pretty decent rare. Counter Spell, always a good 50 cents to a dollar. We've got the Dread Maw, Recalibrate, and no list card. Okay. We need a couple more. We need a couple more fetches. We could use, uh, obviously, an Urza's. I mean, we need a hitter from the Mythic spot. Five Mythic box so far with no uh, with no really good uh, hitters here. Sanctuary Raptor. Tireless Provisioner, another good uncommon. 
Batterbone, Goblin Trap Runner, Bloodbade Marauder is our first rare with a Verdant Catacomb um, Showcase, Sea Drake, Terminal Agony, Captured by Lajox, or Lagox, sorry. Let's just stack these all up so it's a little bit easier. Make sure you check out our other videos. We've got a couple of VIP, um, Double Masters VIP packs that we open. We opened uh, about four of them, so check those videos out. They are uh, they are so much fun to open. Throbbin Watcher, Captain Ripley Vance, Spreading Insurrection. There we go. There we go, chat. Scalding Tarn, very nice. Patchwork Gnomes, the Root Walla. Cabal Initiate. Do we have something from the list here? Well, they don't want to separate. Oh, there we go. Aura Shards. Great, great card. Creature comes into play. Destroy artifacts and enchantments. Love it. It's definitely in my Sith this deck. I have an enchantment deck that started off with uh, Karametra as the uh, general, but I changed it over to Sith this because of how strong she is. Break the Ice. Sudden Edict. Calibrated Blast. Yavamaya Elder, World Weary, Soul of Migration, and nothing off the list. Oh, a Timeless Witness token. That's kind of cool looking. That and Foil is probably pretty sick. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right. Junkwinder. Search the Premises. Karmic Guide. Such a good card. Powerful card. 20 cents, maybe. But still a good card. Another good card. Goblin Anarchomancer. A Milliken. Oh, we have a Spring Jack Shepherd from the list. So I think we've had nothing but uncommons from the list. No rares, no mythics for the list yet. So hopefully one of those is still coming. Chef's Kiss artwork signed. Because that's what we came for. All right, we got a Barb Spike. Arcbound Welp. Moderation. Dermo Taxi, Career and Ranger, Floodhound, and a Healer's Flock with no list card. Okay. Got about seven or eight packs left, folks. We're almost through this. All right, let's see. All right, boom. Glorious Enforcer. Archon of Cruelty. Okay, not not bad. This is our first our first decent mythic, I believe. So very good. We'll take it. Chance Encounter. Violent Tumor, and nothing else after that. Okay. Archon of Cruelty, I know it's a high CMC, but once you get on the battlefield, if you could either keep attacking with it or keep bouncing it, so good. Herd Balath, the Dromedary, Rishadan Dockhand, Squirrel Mob, Kitchen Imp, Tragic Fall, and nothing from the list. All right, come on, we need to, oh, that tore weird. We need to hit that Urza or, or Rag, we need something, come on. Arcbound Sh Shikari, we got a Chitter Spitter, a Suspend, Mistress Factory, decent card, Ornithopter of Paradise, decent common, Magus of the Bridge Foil. Okay, that's going to go there because it's not really that much of a hitter. We're still looking for one more list card at least. I mean, I, I'd like one more. I'd like a list hit, another fetch or an Urza, and then um, another good mythic would be nice. I know that's asking a lot. Graceful Restoration, Young Necromancer, Archfiend of Sorrows, Chatterfang. Okay, we got our mythic. We got a good mythic here. Very nice. Patriarch's Bidding. Bone Shards. The Dromedary. And Gatekeeper of Malakar. So again, all com all uncommons and commons for the uh, for the list. I mean, they're decent uncommons and commons, but they're still commons and uncommons. Alright, Foundation Breaker. Liquid Metal Torque. Tide Shaper. Zabaz. And Dakon. Well, we got two Mythics. Nice. Okay. Hunting Pack. Ooh, out of time. Retro foil rare, but still not worth anything. All right. Four packs left, folks. 
this is an eight mythic. Is this what they do? They give you eight or nine mythics because if the box is absolutely uh, tragic, they just make it up with a bunch of like bad mythics or mid mythics, I should say. Ren runs Hydra. Okay, we double tap the Scalding Tarn. Not too mad about that. Chain or Nightmare Adept. Prophetic, Abundant Harvest, and anything from the list? And the answer is no. All right, three packs to go. Let me move this stack out of the way here. So we doubled up on the, the good rares twice. We didn't really double up on any of the other rares, though, so that's interesting. Violent Tumor, Timeless Witness, Clattering Augur, Legion Vanguard, Underworld Hermit, Unmarked Grave. Used to love this card back in the day. Zernor, love that when it came out in Ice Age. Step Through, Tavern Scoundrel, and that's it. All right, two more packs. Let's go. Come on. Let's hit something in the home stretch here, folks. So I think moving forward, I won't even go through the uncommons. Try to make these videos a little bit quicker, okay? Break the Ice, Territorial Kavu, Goblin Bombardment, great rare, Marble Gargoyle, Deepwood Denison, and that's it. Last pack. Smack that last pack. See if we can't get anything good out of here. We need something spicy. I think we have a list card. Yeah, we do have a list card, so that's nice. Okay, let's go. Constable of the Realm. Arcus Acolyte. All right, good. Douthy Voidwalker. A good rare. Solid rare. Ooh, and a violin of the sea and sky. Borderless Mythic. Very nice. Okay. Great last pack here. Late to dinner. A bottle of golems. And do we have our first rare Mythic? Boom. Vampire Nocturnus Mythic. Play with the top card of your library revealed. As long as the top card of your library is black, this and other vampires you control get plus two, plus one and a half line. Oh, not too bad there. Okay. So... Let's check this out. <laughs> Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mythics. Nine mythics. I don't think any of these are huge hitters, if I'm not mistaken. I know the Planeswalkers are all like two bucks or less. Caldra might be a few bucks. Archon, Chatterfang, a few bucks. And the Savalin. I mean, not horrible. Not horrible at all. Not the best. And then these are our six hits out of the rare slot. Two Espers, two Scaldings, a Marsh Flats, and a Douthu Voidwalker. So, awesome. Again, please like, share, subscribe. Um, share the video with your friends. Join the Facebook group. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out.